One last try then, I feel, for Mr. Isaac. And then we'll call this a round hour of uh, binding. Oh wow, a treasure room right off the bat. The bean. It just, it farts. We all know what it does. Because this game is fairly immature in places. And then scarily poignant in others. Okay, not really. But hey, it's great. And you should all go buy it if you don't have it already. If you don't, then really I don't understand what's wrong with you. But, you know, some people just don't understand the meaning of the word value. <laughs> Sorry! No, we don't need to go into rant mode. This is chilled hour with our friend Isaac. Soaked in his own misery. And encountering poo everywhere he goes. Seriously, there's a surprising amount of it here. I don't want to know who left it here. I think that's a little more information than's necessary. For our circumstances. Alright. So, in an ideal world, I'd have some more power-ups. I'm not going to get any from this room. But hey, having the, um, the bean upgrade right off the bat was probably all I'm going to get from this. I'm unlikely to get a... These are new. I've never encountered them. I mean, obviously you get a lot of enemies that look like that, but those particular ones who drop troll bombs. Oh, that's... That's just cruel and unnecessary. The ladder. And it's on a half price sale, and I, there were nowhere near enough coins in the level to get it. Harsh. Harsh. But hey, sometimes that's just how it rolls, I suppose. I've also wasted the key now. I shouldn't have used it, because I, I would have known it was a shot from the map if I'd looked. And only had one coin. Oh well. Let's fight Gemini for the third time in a single. He's blue and bigger now. Okay, maybe I'm missing something here. Is there a Diablo effect going on? It feels like there probably is. Whereby, you know, different coloured enemies suddenly become completely different. It was the king of recolours, that game, but hey, we love it so. We don't love Diablo 3. We hate Diablo 3. We hate it. And off top. So, Blue Gemini. He's bigger, but he's not slower. I'm not sure if he does more damage. I hope not to find out. Oh god, that, that still creeps me out a little bit. I just unlock you, and uh, apparently not this time. Okay, now I can. Sort of. Oh no. Flying red, angry futures. It's not a sentence you really want to ex uh, experience or utter. Or affirm. Finding alternative words for said and its ilk. A little hobby of mine. And, uh, why am I tapping the button? I'll tell you what that is. That's a uh, holdover from the previous run, isn't it? I don't think it fires any faster to do it that way, so just hold it down. For ease. Ease is good. For ease, a jolly good fellow. And health up. Wow, okay, we need more health then. That's good. We're gonna need health if we wanna make Satan deals. Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen that link before. It's a little bit disturbing. I'm wondering if, if uh, you unlock more of them as you encounter more items. Because there are obviously are thousands of different items. So each time you play, you're likely to encounter a new one. Someone get back to me on that if you know. Because there is a lot of stuff that seems to be appearing, and it's not like I've added DLC or anything to get it. But, hey, that's fine. This game has infinite new content, it seems. Fantastic idea, really. Those guys you made meat boy, they know their shit. Well, not literally in this case, but uh, they really do. They know, they know game design, I feel. Call me crazy. But Super Meat Boy was my favourite game of 2010. No question. Now what is this we have? The Hourglass replaces the bean. Well, I know what the bean does, and I don't know what the Hourglass does, so I'm going to go with the unknown on this one. Slot machine, and I'm not much in a gambling mood since I only have two coins. I want to start saving up so I can actually get something decent out of the shop. I'm probably not going to get the ladder to reappear for the entire course of the proceedings, but uh, what can you do? Oh hey, that thing about unlocking stuff as you go. 
Of course that's definitely true, isn't it? Because every so often you get those little things come up saying X has appeared in the basement. So yeah, I'm comp I was right, but it was obvious and I shouldn't have needed to be told. So if you're already halfway through typing a comment or if you already posted one, then you're going to feel pretty stupid right now. Har, 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 har. Oh, hey, Envy. I don't think I've fought you in a while, because I don't remember what you do. Float around a lot. That's certainly true. See, attack? Yes? No? 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 Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes, I remember now. I've fought Envy before. And he just keeps on doing that. Some time. Until you end up with hundreds of the little bastards. I think the best thing maybe to do is to hit the smaller ones, clear them all out before setting up another split. I could be wrong. But that seems like an option. There they are, keeping on going with this. I don't really understand how this ties to envy. Usually these um, sin-themed bosses did actually attack in a way that suggested it made sense with their name. Envy, not so sure about. Someone will probably come up with something, though. Maybe he envies the people who have more than one head? I don't know. That was grasping at straws, really. That's the best I could achieve. Okay. This is quite a long-winded deal, but I think I've got him. It's fairly straightforward, fortunately. It's not as many little split-off heads as I remember. I remember being the whole room like, full of little bastards. But no. On this occasion, we are safe. And we get a bomb and a coin. I'm not going to complain. Maybe be a little disappointed. What else can we find? We can find sentient meat. Sentient meat, eh? And that just called the animal before we killed it. Apparently so. The horrible vengeance of the cow from beyond the grave. As a chunk of beef comes to life. Bad day to be a carnivore like me. Seriously. Fuck vegetarianism. <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy, I'm afraid. Watch as the audience dwindles to my ignorance. Yes. Oh, Blarg. Would you stop doing what it is you're doing? Is that an option? You're not even crying anymore. You're just walking and dropping troll bombs. Wait! That opened a secret room and I didn't use it. By sheer chance, I uncovered a secret room, but was in such a hurry to move on that I didn't actually go in there, and now it'll close again. I'm assuming I can open it again with my own bombs? I hope so, because otherwise I'm just going to be the dumbest pile of dumb pants ever experienced. Well, at least I know it's there now, but damn, that was well hidden. You don't get the Zelda effect of uh, showing you where it is. Oh, hey, it's the Chris Houlihan room. Except he seems to be uh, a little bit on the decayed side of things. Oh, all right. Money is always good, anyway. Hooper garble. Well, we may as well check the poo for money. Match. Health is fairly useless at the moment. But maybe we could use it after the boss, because you can come back. Hmm. Interesting selection here. So these two I'm really interested in. The key is obviously... Well, I already have two keys. So that's not really useful. Let's take this then. The compass. I don't know what that does. I don't think it's the thing that reveals secret rooms. It may reveal keys like the uh, Zelda ones do, or at least the Link's Awakening one did. I don't know though. I guess we'll find out in due course when something interesting happens and I can otherwise not explain it. Let's fight Monstro for the third time in a single day. We all love to do that. We all love Monstro. Don't you want to hug his beautiful face? With his hair lip and his teeth that probably haven't been brushed in several decades? And his lack of limbs? His lack of anything, really. He is just a head. He's 
still so fairly A easy and B kind of boring. Honestly, I mean, I, yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't mind bosses that are quite straightforward at this early stage, but at the same time, it's kind of, yeah, a bit routine. I guess that's why they made Monstro Monk 2, isn't it? To punish people like me, punish the hubris of folks like myself, who dared uh, call this boss boring. Oh, for the love of God, range up again? Nobody needs range up, it's useless. Yep, that happened. Whatever it is that happened, it sure happened. Anyway. There's a treasure room already on the map. Oh, that's what the compass does, isn't it? <laughs> it shows you all the varying um, room times before you even get to them. That's actually very useful. It means you know where to head to, and you know where you'll need keys. Not hugely useful in terms of finding the secrets, because I'm assuming it doesn't show the hidden rooms. Because there's an item specifically for that. It's like the miner's hat or something. Oh! Yeah, the treasure chest inside him. Creepy. You have to wonder how he managed that one. Only a little green worm. I've got limited stomach capacity. Yeah. But inside is hearts, so always good to come back to if I get screwed over. Likely to happen. Likely to happen. Bomb flies. Would you like a bomb fly to fly in your window in the morning? Especially a yellow one. I wonder what the yellow one's going to be. I would guess exploding to pee. That seems to be the theme of this game. Oh! Well, no. I guess it didn't do that. What does the pill do? Tears down? Oh, no! Flame source. And the hermit, the most useless uh, tarot card of them all. With the possible exception of uh, the emperor. Seriously, screw that card. Screw it. The hell. Because I've fallen for its gimmick twice. That's right. I forgot what it did in between using it once and using it again some months later. It's useless, and everybody hates it. And you should hate it too. Explodey death. Not great. Not a great start to my morning. Not that this is the morning. In fact, 10 past f 11 past 5 on Saturday afternoon. This is how I spend my Saturday afternoons. With the binding of Isaac. Binding him to a wall, perhaps. You never know. I do like that this game doesn't let you pick up health power-ups if you don't need them, because a lot of games don't do that. I've got more keys than I'm ever probably going to need. Not strictly true, but there's a shop up there, but I only have two coins, so probably not really worth it at this point. And pride. And his diagonal laser beams, and which... Took off my blue heart, I was going to say. I didn't think it did any damage for a minute there. But it did. That's pretty much what the Anarchist's cookbook does, is what you just saw there. Room full of bombs, sort of ordeal. And getting trapped in the corner, all sort of ordeal as well. well I'm going to need that extra heart now. Ah, yes, that's an unfortunate feature. The bombs spawn too near to each other, they can end up um, knocking each other around, making them a little bit harder to avoid. Why can't they be like the Ghostbusters bombs that are basically useless? Awesome. And hey, we can get the Hanged Man instead of the Hermit. I forget what the Hanged Man does, probably something terrible. We won't be getting that. What we will be doing is heading to the west. We're heading to the west and then heading to the south because there is a power up that I want down there. And I will obtain it at the cost of your lives. The worms. The worms. The worms, worms, the worms. Plenty of them. Uh-oh. 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 No, that's not fair. Well, that was a fairly disappointing run, wasn't it? Oh well.